everyone, I am Isaac Newton, math genius, engineer, researcher, and one of the most famous scientists of them all. I discovered so many things, like how the world around us works, and invented many useful things. I was born prematurely with a very small chance for survival on Christmas morning, December 25th, 1642, in Wolfsthorpe, Lincolnshire. My father had died before I was born, and when I was three, my mother left me with my grandmother and married a man from a nearby village. I felt rejected and for that I hated my stepfather and threatened to burn his house down. I sought solace in books at Grantham School, and I was unmoved by literature and poetry, but loved mechanics and technology. And I invented an elaborate system of sundials, which was accurate to the minute. In 1661, I enrolled at Trinity College, Cambridge, where I found a father figure who set me on the road to important discoveries. I became known for developing the laws of motion and gravitation, which has led to my achievements in calculus. When trying to describe how an object falls, I found that the speed of the object increased every split second and that no mathematics currently used could describe the object in any moment in time. While sitting beneath an apple tree at my family home, a falling apple had prompted me to think about something which has become one of the most enduring legends in the history of science. Why should that apple always fall perpendicularly to the ground and not float? What if something invisible is pulling it down? And today, we call this invisible force gravity. This has laid the foundations for our scientific age. The laws of motion and theory of gravity underpin much of modern physics and engineering. So that, my friends, is the story of how I came to be one of the world's most famous scientists. I hope you enjoyed. Again, this is Sir Isaac Newton, and farewell, friends. Many of us would like to become a scientist, but did you know that it is not impossible to become one, like Isaac Newton? Let me show you a simple life hack using a balloon, a pin, and petroleum jelly. Actually, balloons pop when you poke them with any sharp objects like this. I'll prove you wrong. This balloon will not pop using a little bit of science. Now, I will put a little amount of petroleum jelly on the surface of the balloon where I will poke it. And then, I will also put some petroleum jelly on the pin. And then, I will slowly insert the pin into the balloon. As you can see, the pin is completely inside the balloon. Now, let us discuss the principle behind this experiment. Balloons, as we all know, are made from rubber, and rubber is made of molecule chains called polymers, which are elastic in nature. When we blow the balloon, air pressure causes these polymers to expand and stretch. Petroleum jelly over the pin acts as a lubricant and reduces the surface tension on the balloon surface. That is all, and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.